Hey everybody, Captain Ken here. Hey, on this video, uh, just trying to share with you how we went, what we went through to install our autopilot on our wooden helm, uh, our wooden wheel. Um, it's not really a step-by-step -step video. Just wanted to show you what we did, what we ran into. Hope you enjoy the videos. Thanks. This is my wheel drive. It is made for the stainless steel ones with the round posts coming out of it. That's what we had on our boat originally. We took it off and put this wood wheel on, which we really like. But I think with a small alteration, I can make this fit on the wheel and it'll be behind it almost completely hidden, which I really like. All right, so I gotta mount this, this uh, wheel drive to the back of my wooden wheel. I installed this one, this uh, wheel myself. We got it at a nautical flea market. So look in there. There's a nut in there. Back off. So what happens is it's got a tapered shaft on it. So it's, it won't, it doesn't want to come off because it's wedged on. I don't have a pulley to pull it. You could use a pulley and put it on there and pull it off. But I'm gonna show you another little trick. I also got it centered with my rudders and lines. So this is my uh, top dead center. So that's how we're going. We'll learn a little. What I've done is I back the nut up onto the shaft so that I'm hitting the nut and not the shaft, but I've got all the threads in that I, on the nut. So I'm not, trying not to damage anything. And voila. I got the wheel off and now I'm gonna to try to mount this. I'm gonna mount this plate to there. And I'm hoping it'll be mostly covered. A little bit of an eyesore, but not too bad. Alright, so I've got the cover for it. I drilled and countersink. Nine screws all the way around. Countersunk them so they wouldn't um, countersunk them so they wouldn't hit any of the mechanism. All right, so I'm getting this mounted. These brackets, if you had a, a stainless wheel, these brackets would go around the spokes on it and bolt into these holes right here. But since I took these off. I mounted the plastic housing to the back of my wheel. My screws are now too long. So I'm going to cut them off with the drill and make them a little shorter. Mm -hmm. I made me a template. So I can locate where I'm going to cut the hole. Locate where I'm going to cut the hole for this actuator. Hopefully that's the right spot. So I'm going to get that done. So we get it back put back together. Okay. All right. So I got my hole drilled. It's kind of deep. I was looking for a grommet for it, and it's. I needed something to seal it between the motor and the drive part. So I found this at the hardware store. It's in the plumbing department. Slides right on. It's cheaper than a... Uh, it's only a little over four bucks. I got two stainless steel... Two stainless steel clamps I get to keep. And I'll cut this off. I'll cut this off somewhere in here and make uh, make my grommet out of it. It's just got a lift right there. And we'll slide that in. The other end to go in the hole over here. Alright. So I've cut off. 
cut off this rubber coupling. Exact size of the hole. Hoodie. And that'll bring up pretty much water. Alright, so I got my makeshift grommet in. So this the motor's gonna slide in there. Line up the key. I think that's a nice fit. I'm gonna bolt it up and see how it works. This is my controller, and I've got to cut this hole out. I'm gonna wind up using a drill bit to do it, and then dress up the hole afterwards. Got my ACU unit mounted behind my helm. I've ran power over to my breaker panel. I had a spare breaker, so I, so I got my compass mounted. Uh, it had to be level, um, and it has to be away from my my regular my normal compass and from any speakers or heavy power lines so this is my NEMA 2000 I hooked this up I didn't know anything about it I had a long learning curve I didn't have any on my boat beforehand but uh, all the data is shared through all of this um, it has to be supplied with a 12 volt power uh, which I have run into a, a fuse panel it uh, stays on all the time and then each component comes off the top of the T's and you have to have these terminators on the end to so each one of these runs up to uh each unit and it all combines it together so they can all talk together so all right we'll see if we can turn it on and see what happens um everything seems to be working okay i just turned the power on so we got the power waiting for my uh plot charter to boot up Let's see if this thing's gonna work. Wish me luck. So, I'm gonna jump it over 10 degrees. Lock it in place. And it is working. So, we're not really moving right now. We're just walking around, we're swinging back and forth. But it's operational. So, all right, another project done. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. Um, also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook on SV The Crooked Anchor. Thanks, bye.